In the last video of this course, we looked at how we can define and implement methods within Go. Now in this video, we're going to be taking that knowledge a step further and looking at how we could define interfaces. So first of all, what is an interface? Well, I like to think of interfaces as a type of contract. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's dive into the code and see. Okay, so let's start off by defining the contract or the interface we want our object to implement. So let's do type employee, which will be an interface. And then within here, we want to define all of the methods that a struct must implement in order for it to satisfy this interface. So I'm going to say get name and it'll be returning a string. Next, let's define a struct. So let's say we have an engineer, a struct, which has a name, which is of type string. We then need to satisfy this interface. So let's define or implement the get name method that hangs off of this engineer struct. So let's do func e and let's default to a pointer receiver to an engineer. And then let's do get name and returns a string. Now this is going to return e dot name like so. Cool. And let's change this a little bit. So let's do employee name plus e dot name just so that it's not, it's doing a little bit more than just returning the name field. And just to make sure this isn't just a standard getter, let's do engineer name. Cool. So now we have effectively implemented the engineer struct, which satisfies this employee interface. Now, what does that mean? Well, say I have a function that say prints detail or print details. And I want to take in something that satisfies the employee interface. I could pass it in like this. And what I could do is fmt print line e dot get name like so. And that's going to import the format package at the top. Cool. So let's define an engineer. So engineer. Let's do engineer name Elliot. And let's do print details and passing an engineer. Cool. So the issue here is as we're using a pointer receiver on get name, we'll need to make this a pointer to the engineer struct like so. Cool. So let's try and run this. Go run main.go. And as you can see, we've called print details, which takes in an employee or something that implements the employee interface. And then we call e.getName, which we expect to be implemented. Now, if we were to comment this out, for example, you could see instantly that my compiler or my editor, sorry, is showing that this isn't valid as the engineer struct does not have the method getName. Now, this is effectively what I mean by the contract. By passing an, an interface to the function here, we are effectively saying we need any object passed into this to implement this employee interface up the top. So let's add this back and let's do, let's do another example. So let's do type manager struct. Let's give it a name and let's implement this as well. So let's do M pointer to manager and let's implement this as well. So let's return string, return manager name and E or M dot name like so. Next, let's create a new manager. So manager and manager, let's do name and Donna. And then let's call the print details function again. Let's pass in manager. And as you can see, the IDE isn't throwing any errors as the manager struct does indeed implement this employee interface. It adheres to the contract that we've set out for this print details function to work. So let's try and run this. Go run main.go. And as you can see, everything has worked as expected.
we've managed to call the two sec separate implementations of get name, hanging off the manager struct and the engineer struct. Cool. So when it comes to defining interfaces in production, you'll tend to find yourself in, or defining these interfaces at the package or in the package which has a particular dependency. So for example, if I was defining a, a REST API that had to talk to a database, I would have a service in between that would define an interface that retrieved all of the um, items from a database. And then I could pass in any implementation that satisfied that interface. Now, this approach helps us to effectively unit test our applications better. By defining the interfaces at the package level, which requires them, we can mock these out and use packages such as Vectra Mockery or GoMock. And then within our test, we could say, whenever this interface is called within our package, we expect it to return this. And then we can test the logic around the calls to these dependencies. Now, if you want to see an example of this in action, then I recommend checking out either the Go REST API course or the Go gRPC course, which follows this approach in terms of implementing or defining the interface at the package level and then mocking these dependencies within unit tests. Cool. So that's all we're going to cover within this video. Now, just to recap, in this video, we've looked at how we can define interfaces within Go. We've then looked at how we could define multiple different types of structs. So we've implemented the engineer struct and the manager struct, which effectively adhere to this contract or this interface that we have defined at the top here. We've then seen example, an example of how we can use this in practice by defining the print details function, which takes in anything that satisfies this employee interface and then we call the object to be passed in and the dot get name method off of that.